Good afternoon, Grangerlings. Welcome back to Phil's Cookery Show. This is turned into be now. What we're gonna to do today, is we're gonna to make some bread. Just simple white bread, because I'm a simple man, obviously. Mike, come over here, please. Oh, say hello to Mike, everyone. Say hello back. Oh, did you, you did a thumbs up. Awesome, well done. Come, come, come. Look at an array of ingredients and equipment for what we're gonna need. For this recipe, Take note now, you're gonna need 500 grams of strong white flour, preferably bread flour. You can have wholemeal flour if you like, or um, multi-grain flour, but it's gotta be strong bread flour. I don't have bread flour, I've just got strong white flour, so hopefully it says, for pizza faces and bread, hopefully this is gonna work. We've got, she's back, my favorite spatula. We have some cream fill, <laughs> drop that. Um, but anyway, ingredients. We need 500 grams of strong um, bread flour, your choice. We need a sachet of fast active yeast. Um, and we need two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, 300 milliliters of water with three tablespoons of olive oil in it, or vegetable oil, or sunflower oil, it doesn't matter. We're gonna need a little bit more oil later on and you'll see why. A little bit of um, kitchen towel and we're going to need some flour to do the kneading with as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a space of what we don't need. Get my favourite spatula back. We're going to make a well in the middle. Okay, what we're going to do, the salt has to go one side. Sorry, that's not even salt, that's sugar. The salt on the other side and then the yeast with the sugar. Okay, we get our 300, and this has to be, the water by the way, mustn't be freezing cold, mustn't be boiling hot. It's kind of got to be room temperature or just slightly bit warmer. Um, otherwise it won't work very well. We pour our mixture in like so. Sorry. Go in the sink, get rid of all of those. We get the spatula and give it a mix. Normally I do this with my hands but I'm going to try and remain relatively mess free at the moment and what we want to do is just combine all of this because we've got some hard work to do next. Okay now you can see it's all coming together all looking very glutinous at the moment. There's probably some professional bakers out there going, oh, oh, oh Mr. Hutchinson, <laughs> you doing? But this has worked for me for years, actually. This is kind of my bog standard bread recipe. So hopefully it'll work. It's not every likelihood that of course it could go horribly wrong and be the first time um, that this has gone out. It doesn't work. So we get our flour. Okay, so we get very chef-like <laughs> and toss them across the work surface, like so, and like so. And what we're gonna do is turn this out. Right, like, stay with, stay with the mess. I'm just gonna Going nowhere. Soak this, because we need it later on. Appearance. I have a guest appearance. Caroline from next door's come in. <laughs> and then she just disappeared, hopefully. So we can carry on with this. So what we want to do is knead it. And this is going to take about 10 minutes. So I'm not expecting you to hang around while I knead this at all. A little bit more flour. Right. So what you want to do is kind of fold it over and push it down with your knuckles. Apparently this is called knuckling, I think, as well. And you can start to see it's going to come together. And it's going to start to get elastic as well. So what we want and what we're looking for is a nice smooth dough. And that takes about 10 minutes. So I'll carry on with this and I'll see you in 10 minutes. Right. Slaving away then. Yes, this is almost 10 minutes now. 
you can see the dough's changed consistency, look at that. It's all kind of springing back in itself, which is what we want. So, pull it over a little bit, so it looks nice and neat. That's what I've seen them do on the TV. You want it so it kind of, see that springs back on itself? Do it again, do it again, do it again. Anyway, there you go. So, Mike, <laughs> I'm out of breath, can you believe it? Mike, clean the bowl for me. I'm gonna just put a little tiny bit of olive oil in there. Get a kitchen towel. And we're doing this so it doesn't stick to the bowl. Okay, so that goes in there. We want our clean film. If I can get it open. Yay. Just see it up. Right, so give it a tiny little bit of slack in there because it will rise. You'll see that later. I'm going to take a dishcloth and then we're going to leave it. Oh, there's my tea. Thank you. Leave it there for an hour. So um, I'll see you in an hour. I'm back, Rangelings. Made a flow car earlier. Just remembered. I actually used my first name instead of my proper name, which is Mr. Hutchinson. Hmm? Don't forget it. Thanks. Here we've got our dough. It's been resting about, or oh, sorry, proving. That's your technical term for it. Because when you make the bread dough, you have to let it prove for around about an hour till it doubles in size. So here we are on the bread, the big unveiling. Ta-da, look at that. So that's worked. Oh, and it's stuck to the... Um, Thanks, we're going to save that for a bit. Put that there. Okay, so the next phase of this is that we've got to knock the dough. And knock the dough basically means you punch it, kind of stretch it into itself a few times, and what happens is that, that helps it with its texture and its flavour, apparently. So here we go. <laughs> nice! Oh, by the way, I did wash my hands. And we just pull it in like this a few times. Can you see now? The dough is really kind of stretchy and elastic -y. And that's kind of what we want as well. We'll just put it in together, into the center, ready to put it on a sheet for its second preview. Okay. That's some awesome looking dough. Oh, look how it springs back. Boing, boing, boing. That's exactly what we want. So, I've got my baking tray with a baking sheet on it. I'm just going to pull this out in one go. Plunk it on there, like so. And you can either keep it round, or hopefully, if I can, strip it out a little bit more. A bit more of a, kind of a loggy shape. Kind of shape. And it will help. If it wasn't, oh, okay, look. I might go for a rustic cooking loaf of bread today. I think. They will be selling the bread. Extreme close up, awesome. We take a bit of clean fill, get away, and. A tiny little bit of olive oil. I'm we'll putting this on so it doesn't stick to the dough. Just it. I apologise to any professional bakers out there if I'm making a hash of this. However, there we go, and that just rests on top. Back and covered, and we leave that for another hour. What I'm going to also do is just turn the oven on 220 degrees. Thank you very much. And that's that, and I'll see you in an hour. Welcome back, Rangelings. An hour or so has passed, and Mike, get down here on, for the great unveiling. Oh, out of the way. <laughs> Ta da! Look at that. It's risen. Let's just pull. Wow, look at this. Now that's what I'm calling a loaf of bread. So, right, our oven. 
is on at 220 degrees. <coughs> Close up on that. Nice one. Well done. Thank you, sir. So what we're going to do is just going to jelly like. We're going to score it like so. Give it a little bit of a, a professional look. Grab my trusty dessert spoon. What we're going to do is just sprinkle some flour on it. Make a bit of a mess because that's fine. And then we're going to throw this in for around about 25 minutes or so, give or take. And we'll... Back on me, thanks. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back in about 25 minutes to check it, tap its bottom to see if it's hollow. And if it is, then it'll be ready to uh, cool down and eat. So we'll see you in 25 minutes. Ta-da! Welcome back to the kitchen. Mike, close up on the oven, please, sir. Thank you. Ta-da! There is a odd look looking loaf. I've got a feeling it's ready. It's been about 25 minutes, so bear with me while I don't burn myself. Just gonna listen to this. Sound hollow to you? Sounds amazing. Cool. Right, so in one professional doo doop. I think it's okay. Right, we need to let that cool down a little while before we tap into it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna give it five, 10 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll cut it and see how it is. But it's looking good. It's just a very weird shape. Sorry about that, but there you go. See you in five minutes. Okay, truth be told, I can't wait for 10 minutes for this to cool down. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut it now and see what it's like. Are you ready, Michael? Always. Awesome. Let's give it a cut. And let's... Ooh, have a look at that. That's not too shabby. Looks good. It smells good. It smells good. It smells good. Amazing. Am I the taster as well, or is that you? Uh, no, you're just the camera person. We're going to... Some vegan butter. Obviously. Of Michael. I ain't seen that. There you go. How's that brew? Better than the shops. Up to me. Better than the shops. Did you hear that? It's a bit of a mission. It's like, what? 15 minutes prep, two hours proving, 25 minutes ish um, baking. So worth it. But it's definitely so, so worth it. And this is really, really easy. Um, so all you need, 500 grams of strong bread flour, 300 mils of warm water, sachet of yeast, two tablespoons, sorry, not tablespoon, teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, and what's the other thing? And three tablespoons of olive oil. Mix it all up, knead it for 10 minutes, let it prove for an hour, and then knock it down, pull it into itself, put it on your baking tray, let it proof for another round and throw it in the oven and it's that easy. Um, anyone can do this. If I can, you guys can as well. Look at it, look at this. It's like in a magazine. Are you gonna eat that bit? Yep. Mm. I'm gonna say goodbye first. Everyone, stay safe, stay well. I miss you all, I love you all and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. I'll be the same.